Google's Nexus is back with a bold new operating system and impressive specs to match. It's essentially doing what every other manufacturer is doing, but for less than £300. But how does it compare to the finest flagships? So you're looking at a sturdy handset built by LG with a Snapdragon 800 engine, 8 megapixel camera and 4G. That's coupled with the smartest mobile operating system we've ever seen, complete with Nexus 5 only tricks that will change the way you use your smartphone. And it's a good looking smartphone, not as good looking as the HTC One, but attractive nonetheless. It's almost all screen with super skinny bezels and at just 130 grams, it's also nice and light compared to heftier rivals like the G2. If you've got a Nexus 7, you'll feel right at home with the matte polycarbonate back and embossed Nexus logo, while the protruding lens provides a shot of character or disappointing protrusion, depending on personal preference. Overall, it's an understated yet cool design with neat and tidy speaker grills, subtle power and volume buttons. That 5-inch 1080p screen is also right up there with the best. Stock Android looks stunning on a display this sharp, and KitKat's minimalist icons and menus look very classy. Everything from text in playbooks to Android games looks crisp and clean. Colours in HD movies are natural, though colours can look a tad washed out compared to rivals like the G2 and HTC One. Similarly, viewing angles aren't the best, with contrast and colours fading when tilted from side to side. Now the combination of its powerful 2.26 GHz processor together with 2 GB of RAM and improvements to the touchscreen responsiveness makes this the smoothest Android experience we've ever encountered. With KitKat re-engineered for speed, whether you're gaming, multitasking or web browsing, everything is noticeably faster. Search opens instantly and overall we haven't experienced a single crash or hiccup, although it can heat up during a big game download. Now, wireless charging tech has been built in and connectivity now includes NFC, Bluetooth 4.0 and seriously fast dual band Wi-Fi. The only real letdown is the lack of expandable storage. Google's also upped its game with an 8 megapixel shooter, LED flash optical image stabilization, a new HDR plus mode and a 1.3 megapixel front facing snapper. There's also auto backup to Google Plus and auto awesome for animations, panoramas and photo booth shots. Unfortunately, results fall just short with some muted colours and trouble exposing correctly, whether you're indoors or out. Now, images aren't bad, but next to the best shooters, they lack contrast and the lighting issues are definitely a problem. But detail is impressive when zooming in on subjects. HDR Plus is useful outdoors, autofocus is also fast and night shots are better than those of any other smartphone at this price. Full HD video is also detailed and has smooth motion, but again, rivals do a much better job of exposing and colours aren't always 100% accurate. Then there's Android 4.4 KitKat that will really change the way you use your phone. It's faster, sleeker and ushers in a new dawn of voice search and Google Now cards. Search is everywhere, with a search bar at the top of every home screen and Google Now page, which is triggered with a swipe to the left as well as from the bottom. It's not an obvious visual overhaul and the changes are subtle, but they really do make a difference. Icons are bigger in the app drawer and some have been given a beautiful redesign. The navigation buttons now have a translucent bar and in some apps, such as Google Books, the buttons and status bar disappear when you begin reading. And Gallery now supports other cloud services other than Drive. Contacts are also auto-sorted by who you frequently talk to and the dialer now includes search to pull up local results. And if you get a phone call from an unknown number, if it's listed, Google will pull in the necessary caller ID. Hangouts are also the default messaging app with separate support for SMS. Okay, Google. The enhanced voice capabilities are impressive too. Search Switch to US English and when TV. you're on the home screens or Google Now page, simply uttering the OK Google command will trigger voice search. And it's pretty quick, although opening apps takes longer than it should. And finally, the Nexus 5's battery has definitely improved since the Nexus 4. It won't last as long as the G2's or S4's, but nightly charges are a small compromise considering its price tag. So the Nexus 5 certainly lives up to the hype, but despite being utterly invaded by Google services, the best of Google doesn't necessarily make for the best smartphone. And as impressively spec as the Nexus 5 is, it's still one killer camera and beefy battery away from total domination. Saying that, it's the best smartphone if you're on a budget.
Here at Stuff, we care about you guys just as much as all the newfangled tech that winds up on our desks. So we'd love to hear what you think. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. And of course, for your daily tech fix, make sure you visit our website, stuff.tv, for the latest and coolest gadget news and reviews. And most importantly, don't forget to hit subscribe. Tell your friends. <laughs>